Howdy folks, Beardoss here with a guide of sorts. November has brought with it the Fall Alter Ego Extravaganza. So for the entirety of the month of November, from the 1st, which is today, until the end, you can get all of the following trusts. I'll go through each of them, show you how to get them, show you what they look like, and tell you what I know of them. So starting with Conquest Points. So from any Conquest Overseer, we are starting in South Sandy, because it's me, I'm a Sandorian, and proud. If we go to the I want to spend my conquest points, and then common items, and go to the next page, we have a cipher of Rahal's alter ego, and a cipher of Maki Chibuki's alter ego. So Rahal is your basic paladin. He provokes, he flashes, prefers to use flash. He'll berserk only when he doesn't have hate. He'll cure when someone's below 33% health. He will use sentinel on himself when he's below 33% health. And he will try to interrupt high tier spells and TP moves with shield bash. So, all right. You know, that's kind of what you want from a tank. Uh, I've never had much, much enjoyment from using them, but on paper it all sounds good. Uh, he will set you back 1000 conquest points, which I'm sure you're swimming in. Uh, Maki Chibuki. This is a ranged fighter. One of the three from the Chains of Promethea Tarotarus. Will try to stay out of melee range, will just shoot and shoot and shoot, apart from on light days. Now I didn't know this, and I've seen it happen. It's not very fun when you're expecting him to be obliterating Calibri, and he does not. So yeah. Uh, he's good. Uses barrage, sidewinder, but yeah, not. Oh, there's there's better packs than than Maki Chibuki. Next up, we need to speak to any of the records of eminence folks. Those people located in Western Adelin, Windrush Woods, Bastop Markets or Southern Sandoria like Rolandien. We want to scroll down until we get to the category Trust. And in here, as you can see, we have Cypher of Sid's alter ego, Cypher of Kultada's alter ego, and a Cypher of King of Hearts alter ego. Each of those will set you back 500 sparks each. Sid's a bit he's not a great DD. Kotada is fantastic when you're XPing, as he's a Corsair. And King of Hearts is a bit of a eccentric red mage. However, he does have a benefit of plus 50% to any of his abilities durations. So next up, if you go to any field manual or grounds tome, we can get from the read about field support option in the very bottom Alter Ego Sakura or Alter Ego Koromoru. Now Sakura gives you Indie Regen which at level 99 gives you 6 HP per tick back which is fantastic and also stacks with player cast Indie Regen. It also gives you an increase to physical combat skill gain rate which is pretty cool. It has a passive trust, so can't be attacked and can't attack. But yeah, if you need to skill up uh, or just need the regen, fantastic pick. Koromoru is one of my personal must picks when it's all about my damage because Red Mage, though when Red Mages can learn it, learns haste too and we'll cast it on everyone on your party that it's actually useful for. If you're a ranged person, 
Battle cast. Flurry. Flurry 2. That's the one. So yeah, absolutely fantastic pick. Both of these will set you back 300 tabs each. So yeah, definitely worth dropping the tabs on or earning the tabs to get these two. We've got a whole month to do it. Next up we have Nedging and Ovishang. We can both be got from the Commissions Agency in Atargan. From any of these folk apart from Sorrowful Sage at the end. If you've got any assault points, you should be able to find them right at the bottom here. As you can see, Sephiroth of Jang's alter ego and Sephiroth Nyejing's alter ego. Nyejing is a tank that can use flash and dispel and provoke and shield bash. Uses some pretty strong automaton weapon skills if you're not aware. Both of them are automatons from the Atar Gan missions. Um, does get a damage reduction passive ability apparently of 37.5% which is pretty nice. Uh, does the usual that you'd expect from a paladin, tries to attempt TP abilities with shield bash. So yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Also, Nashmira receives increased defense and increased enmity. Only the normal Nashmira trust, not Nashmira true. But when you've got Nyejing out at the same time as her. So that's something worth noting if you want to call them out. There is actually some synergy between them. Of Jang is an offensive caster. Uses slow silence dispel single target elemental nukes up to tier 4. Uh, yeah, nothing special about Of Jang. Uh, she receives, re uh, sorry, Nashmira receives reduced enmity and increased magic damage of minus 10% and plus 10% respectively. When she's summoned at the same time, again, it only applies to Nashmira normal, not Nashmira 2. So if you like your automatons, it's worth getting these two. And next up we have two from Adeline. To get these you need to go to the Peacekeepers Coalition, which is in Eastern Adeline, just next to Waypoint 1 or from Home Point 1, and speak to Ujle Zeleko. Once in here, it's right to the very bottom, and coming off the side of the menu, we have Cypher of Amchuchu's Alter Ego and Cypher of Moramar's Alter Ego. Now, Amchuchu is a fantastic pick. It is a rune fencer, which straight off the bat suggests fantastic against magic based enemies. And she is, she is fantastic. Uh, fights like the high tier. Uh, avatar fights, absolutely made for her. Uh, so, absolutely vital to get her alongside a normal tank as well. They're gonna set you back 2000 build, so cannot stress how how important a pickup that is. The other one, Moramar, is a DD. Uh, Having used him in the past, kind of left a bit to be desired, but this was before they made a lot of changes, so I do need to reuse him again. But it looks awesome. Got a big beard, big white hair, and a big halberd. Always good. Uh, I'm not sure whether there's any synergy between Darsun and Theodore with him. But he does have a TP move that consumes all of his TP, gives him all his health back, gets rid of all of his debuffs, and makes him glow. When in that glowy state, he'll not do anything but wait until his next skill chain, which will be 
a move called 12 Blades of Remorse. Oh yeah, I'm going to give him a try again. Um, and just for how he looks, it's, it's worth a pick up. Again, he's from the Adeline mission storyline. And finally, we are in the past in Bastop Markets. Right up here. We need to talk to one of the IM people and go to item exchange. I believe it's just in ribbons, yep. So in ribbons, if we go to a cipher of Adelheid's alter ego, only going to cost you 2000 allied notes. Chances are you already have this from doing the Records of Eminence quests. She is one of the rewards for summoning trusts. So yeah, you probably already got her. You don't need to make this trip. But just for completion's sake and if you haven't went through them, this is where you get Adelaide. Adelaide being a scholar. Pretty useful if it's going to be a long drawn out fight. But how often are you, are you in them where you don't have requirements on the rest of your, your trust slots? So good to pick up, but not entirely useful all the time. So that is that. I hope this video has helped you get some trust. Hope it's helped you actually understand what some of them do. If it has, the thumbs up button lets me know that it's helped you. If you want to see more videos like this or my three times weekly Let's Play series I have with my Jimmy Bonsai character, hit that subscribe button and click the wee notification button next to it as well to be notified anytime I put a video up, which is daily. For now though, thanks for watching, take it easy, adios.